is up everybody this is Jason Griggs here with Jay Griggs real estate got a sunny day here in uh, January here in Henderson and uh, what we're gonna do today is I am going to bring you to a condo complex that I heavily invest in I started investing in this complex I have five units in this complex um, about five years ago five six years ago and in my opinion it's the best condo complex in Henderson to invest in and I am going to go over all the reasons why so let's go take a look <music> So as you can see here as we pull up, it's a guard gated complex, has 154 units, there's a total of 13 buildings. The reason why I like this complex so much, it has only two bedrooms and three bedroom units. So you won't find any one bedroom units here. Another thing that this complex does not have is it does not have garage parking. So some condo complexes have garage parking, but here we just have awning parking, which I'll show you in a minute. So the way you get in, you'll come in and you'll type in the code. I have the code since I'm an owner. And, uh, and I'm going to give you a tour of the rest of the property. So here's building number 13 when you first come in I personally like to buy my units towards the front of the complex this way you do not have to drive all the way around there is only one entrance to this complex I actually own two units here in uh, building one so you'll see the covered parking and each homeowner will get one numbered parking space and then there's plenty of other open parking spaces throughout the complex. So this is the clubhouse. There is no gym or fitness area in this particular clubhouse. But there is a terrific pool. The pool is not open right now. It's a little windier than I thought today. But this will give you a little, has a nice pool with a nice hot tub. And throughout the complex, you'll see there's a ton of barbecue, barbecue area, seating area. So if you want to come and barbecue with your family, you can. So I'm walking through one of the common areas here. And in between all the buildings they have this, they just installed fresh turf. And they redid all the landscape and came out really nice. So if you have a dog or a pet, um, they could come outside, use the restroom but it all oh, it's really really nice it's very well maintained and it's just the it's very easy to walk around in here they just installed these brand new mailboxes the other ones were a little flimsy so they decided to remodel them which is great here's this another view of the pool area so if you have a unit right next to the pool it's a little, literally a few steps and you could go take a dip it does get hot here in Henderson and I'm just gonna we're just gonna do one quick lap here of the entire complex and so you'll see all the covered parking and then the units kinda go in, in interior but all the people that I've met in here are really nice people I've never had any issues getting any of my units rented. I actually get in the busy season probably 50 to 60 rental applications when one of these units come on the market. It's just a very sought out area to live in here in Henderson. I'm gonna go over why in a minute here. So this back entrance uh, is never open. They keep it closed. There is only one entrance and exit like I mentioned and throughout the complex you will see the dumpsters the dumpsters come get picked up twice a week the trash is included with the HOA the HOA of this complex is 
three dollars a month very affordable considering the location of it so you can see that the complex is not too big some complexes here in Las Vegas it's like a maze trying to find your unit getting in and out this is one of the easiest to navigate through it has a terrific layout of the way they space the buildings out there's plenty of room and now we are back at the entrance all right so I'm gonna break down if you were to put an offer in on this one unit that we're that we're in front of right now it's listed for two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars so if, at two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars if you put twenty percent down which is normal uh, especially in an investment loan then you would have to put down fifty seven thousand dollars your mortgage would work out to be about thirteen hundred dollars a month given with a six percent interest rate I just averaged it out because some rates are in the five and a half up to six and a half so I just went with six your HOA would be hundred and ninety dollars a month and then you would have your taxes which work out to be sixty to eighty dollars a month depending on the unit and so that would add up to be around nine hundred dollars a year so with the math that I'm doing on the two bedroom if you were all in twenty percent down Fifty-seven thousand dollars down, your mortgage would be fifty fifty, and you could rent these units out for about seventeen fifty. So, in my opinion, I wouldn't. It wouldn't work in the way I buy real estate. You would need to buy it at a little less of a purchase price. Um, you would have to probably get it around. Let's see, two eighty-five. You probably have to get it around two twenty-five. For, for it to make sense. Now, some people don't care about the cash flow. The cash flow is important to me. I need to make money on top of my mortgage. But some people, it doesn't bother them. They want to buy it and rent it and then wait on the appreciation or just pay it off right away. And then it's more money. It's a great cash on cash return for them. So it's just preference. On the three bedroom now, it's going to be a little different. That one is going to be a little bit more expensive. That one, the mortgage is going to be around sixteen hundred dollars a month. Again, three hundred twenty-nine thousand, putting twenty percent down, which is about seventy-two thousand. Your mortgage would be closer to sixteen hundred dollars a month, and then you have your taxes and your HOA, HOA one ninety a month, and taxes. Uh, we'll we'll go again with the eighty to one hundred dollars a month, and that leaves you with more of around eighteen nineteen hundred dollars a month all-in mortgage costs with the three bedrooms you could rent it for about twenty two hundred dollars a month twenty three and if you remodeled it I've seen them get up to about twenty five hundred dollars a month so it actually makes a little bit more sense to go after the three bedroom on this one this three bedroom that's listed for three twenty nine is actually a little bit low I think that's that person should actually raise the price but again the markets a little slow right now so they're they may not be able to or they haven't been getting any action on it so they're they may be in a situation where they have to sell quickly I'm actually gonna call this three bedroom right now to see if they would be willing to do a creative finance deal seller seller finance ownable carry or if they'll take a lower cash offer if I were to offer cash on this one, I would offer around two thirty-five. So, all right, guys, thanks for uh, coming with me on this property tour of uh, the Gables here in Henderson. Like I mentioned, I love this complex. The prices are still a little high um, for rentals right now, but I really think the prices are going to go down. You'll be able to get some good opportunities coming up. I'm going to include in the description the links of the three units that are listed for sale. And uh, this complex has been nothing but great to me. Um, you get good quality tenants. The original unit that I bought has had the same tenant in it for almost six and a half years. So she's been great. She pays her rent all t on time. And that's really all this business is. So if you're interested in learning more about rental properties, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. Um, I still have my uh, courses that I've set up to teach and educate you on buying rental real estate. I'm signing off, Jason Griggs, J. Griggs Real Estate, everything real estate, everything Las Vegas. Peace.